it was against Xin Zhao to there it was it was two times right like uh, that he got targeted down um but the second time around ngx was ready to respond right away i'm um, also loving this band coming from ngx they're taking away retail's favorite champion they knew yeah. like at this point that retail will try to carry the game and will not go for getting to the third game in a row and respecting it by banning away the fiora is a good call yeah just force him on the garen and not be able to pop off because the Jax and the Fiora are just his signature champions and with perfect utilization as well. What would be the last ban here for Nygma Galaxy? I think it's going to be a focus on Rattel since uh, they're, they, they have no problems with Haku here into the mid lane. Just, uh, they can just uh, allow him to pick any of the champions. Meanwhile, Kate <laughs> also is recognizing that Demon Knight might actually want to secure another Ziggs in which he secured an MVP mm. during their match against Burrito United Esports. Ooh, and now Rosa is going to snag away the Kaisa of Aaron, not going to let him play the champion three times in a row. But Aaron is so much prepared and will bring out the Assassin. This is what we were waiting for. Oh. This is an opportunity. This is a play. Uh, that KT Roser Y had the perfect opportunity to do had it been that Zero was the one playing, but because it's Haku, they are being forced to play double marksman composition right now. Nigma Galaxy will be rounding up their draft with an AP carry in the bot lane, a utility champion in the Karma. And so this is going to be very interesting because if you are to ask me, like uh the amount of or the, the amount of times that we see Kai's uh, Karma be relevant is whenever the Karma is um further augmenting a hyper carry jungler and mm -hmm. Kha'Zix is not really a hyper carry right like it's a cleanup champion um so it's going to be I I'm just curious to see as to how Nygma Galaxy will be uh, using this trap because if you're, if you were to ask me I believe you know um I think Lux is a, an even better option than the Karma mm -hmm. I mean maybe they want to use it an Ascended Embrace as a disengage tool for team fights to force Kater also why to slow down up and uh, just be hesitating uh to proceed on the team fight looks like it's also going to be rattel on the orn for top lane yeah. to battle against high in <laughs> in your experience as the <laughs> renekton main i want to know your thoughts on this you won't be able to kill the orn i mean if ever that the orn dies 1v1 against the renekton it's the orn's fault because the, the only thing that you have to do as the orn is to Clear the wave immediately, and if you're the Renekton, if you ever die against the Orn one v one, it's also your fault because you have a slice and dice uh, to really make sure that you won't get bumped uh, and you won't get knocked up because that's the only way an Orn can uh, win the lane against a Renekton. By the time that uh, you know that, that that his items are online, uh, and once the crowd control hits the Renekton, there is an opportunity for the Orn to punish. But make no mistake, right? This is a winnable lane for the Renekton for sure. That is it. Perfect establishment for the Baron lane situation here between Hyde and Rattel. Because one of our concerns on Rattel, right, is that he's not given an opportunity to use his carry champions anymore. It's forced yeah. to have this, you know, weak side lane all the time. And Enigma mm -hmm. Galaxy, I mean... I, even if this is like the weak side lane, it looks very strong as always. Yeah. Very stable, very potent as well to secure solo kills. Ooh. This Zed for Aaron <laughs> is going to be so deadly for Luna. Just one poke, he's down. That win condition by Yenjax. Daring KT also wanted to go double marksman and get easily counterpicked by an assassin by Aaron. He has to be careful though. He's playing with fire right now, but he really wants to secure Whoa. that minion. A flash for a flash. Nothing to be had for both squads. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, during the drafting phase, right? We, It's like Nigma Galaxy. If this was, was chess, they're always checking Katerol or Y every time yep. they respond with a pick. Right now, they're playing very proactively. He, he yeah. uses very respectable oh. to Kato also why also the invade is looking very nice by though mm -hmm. he needs to be extra careful with Joshi is gonna be here the rest of the squad of KT is actually responding pretty well catching now with a grand entrance as Joshi looks to flee burning Wait, to no death Hyde looks to flag oh. and that's gonna be a kill onto the mid laner oh, so bad here for Kato also why they managed to punish him Hyde was able to recognize that it was a flashless Luna and immediately goes for the pounds again the bounce a uh, burst potential of a level 3 Renekton, especially on Kraken Slayer, 
is quite surprisingly high, and that is the reason why NGX was able to snag away the first blood. Um, who got the blue buff? Were you able to do catch? Oh, well, we'll see in the replay as to who got the blue buff. I believe it was KT Rolso, right? I was able to get it, but yeah, you may be able to snag away the buff, but the more important objective, which is the first blood pool, heading over to hide is just going to accelerate this guy. He doesn't have demolish though. Um, that's one thing I know. Oh, a dive? Oh, yeah, three man dive against the Orn can be quite challenging, but Draw is able to soak so much no. damage. Oh no, he was able to still reset. Twyum is helping him. Oh my lord! Three kills! Solo kills by Rattel! What just happened? Ah, uh, the biggest blunder of them all, and Jix. Did not respect the tankiness of an Orn and uh, just got easily punished by the, the god himself. Some tuning has to be made <laughs> on this <laughs> champion, right? Like, yeah. at the end of the day, I don't see any other champion being able to survive that three-man dive. And there is no ultimate for uh, High, Just G, and company. And again, that knockoff, it lasts mm. a long, long time. Oh, man. Rattel also uh, quick to his feet was able to flash into the honey fruit and a triple kill for the Orin. Well, Orin with a, a lot of items is also going to be very scary because this is a champion that can surprisingly deal a lot of damage. So yeah. AD Rolls are right, is able to find an avenue to win out game number three through the top side. And if oh, Enigma Galaxy is unsuccessful using three people to take him down what more with a buffed up uh orn here for ratel this is yeah. definitely a win lane right now for him and enigma galaxy has to look <laughs> for other avenues on other lanes yeah uh as long as Hyde does not have the blade of the ruling king i don't think he could put a dent onto uh the orn and so he's here to just wave here yeah, Omel is here as well, ready for the quickest into the grand entrance. Perfect synergy as well. No escape, no room for escape here for both the Renekton and the Nautilus. Ah. Easy two kills for Rattel. A carry on performance by legendary Baron Laner from Korea. Rattel again just showing his chops right now. 4 0 and 1. Uh, and he's just helping out KT Rolls or Y own up the top side. You just see, this is the second blue buff in a row that got snagged away by KT Rolls or Y. Let's look, let's look into that replay once again. Uh, they just have no chance at all, right? Like, they, <laughs> believe me, believe it or not, I believe that the the, uh, the knockoff coming from the Orin is like the longest one in the game right now. <laughs> It's yeah. almost similar to the unstoppable force of the mall fight. The, the amount of duration that uh, you get knocked up. Um, by the Orn is almost equivalent to an ultimate of a Malphite and <laughs> just goes to show that this champion is, uh, needs some tuning if I'm, you know, in my opinion. It's the only champion that can contest the CC duration and the, a the AOE impact of the Galio as well. <laughs> That's why this champion is just <laughs> so good. Yeah. And one of my, actually, one of my favorites back in the day as well to just be stable in a lane. Now Blatel is more than stable. He is poor. Yeah. Zero and one, able to take down Aether absolutely free without any resistance from Hyde as well. Just he's looking for other avenues in the bottom lane as Aaron takes a tower down as well. Yeah, this is the best NGX can do, right? Like uh, to go for trades and NGX will be able to at least get it in the tower in the bottom lane. But just because the KT roster Y was able to get the tower on the top side without even having to use the Rift Herald means that they can use it here in the mid lane and go for the 242 special. A 2 for 2 special mm. is indeed going to happen, and this second tier mid tower is down to 3 2 2 health. Oh man, Transcended Brace just to try and prevent the push from happening. 56 HP is left on the tower, still is standing strong. KT Rolls are Y, slowly but surely accelerating their scaling as well. Again, this is a double marksman lineup. If you uh -huh. give any gold towards them, they're going to fully utilize it till the late game and this lineup of Nygma Galaxy has very really good potential yes into the back line but it's also a draft that falls off into the late game and ah. as long as Rattel and Do and Nomel is gonna protect the back line they're, they're, yeah. they have nothing to be afraid about yeah it may look like that NGX is uh, still not too far behind uh, with only 3k separating the two teams but with the way things are going, with the double marksman composition that KT Rolls or Y is employing right now, we all know this as a fact. If KT Rolls or Y ever gets a lead in the early game, they won't surrender it. 
right? E that easily. They're one of the best teams that can snowball a small lead into a very big lead come mm -hmm. late game, right? And uh, that just goes to show that their macro is centered around disciplined approach, and uh, that's a uh, that's a KR special for you, right? <laughs> Every single time yeah. that we see a KR team, almost always that their uh, macro will uh, dissuade them to go for aggressive plays. Call of Forge God just to clear out the ways. This is something that we have talked about. Provide stability, negate the pressure that Nema Galaxy always is posing onto them. And that creates other avenues for KDL to work. Look at this free, freely taking a tower in the bot lane because they know there's like four people on top lane and no results from Nema Galaxy just yet. I mean, Rattel and Nomel can just do the. A knock up combo over and over again. Oh. They were able to defend the tower on the top lane, and Rattel is still pretty much healthy. There's no need for him to go back to the base. He can just craft items left and right. Again, with the tempo that KT Rolls or Y is enjoying right now, it will just be a lot harder for NGX to penetrate through and per, uh, force a 3 0 lead. Like, looking at this per, uh, position for KT Rolls or Y, they are in prime position to not just fight. Uh, and w just wait for the objectives because every single time that the objectives comes up and they are able to force a fight with call of the forge god uh on their side it's just going to be easy uh, for gt rolls or why to execute their draft <laughs> this is uh, right now the perfect opportunity for gt rolls or why oh, to be aggressive aaron is taking too much tries to use the death mark but will not be able to escape at all there's like four aoe crowd control from yeah. just ratel and nomel Rattel is saying, who's the assassin now, brother? Like, at this Bro. point, <laughs> who is going to kill this Orin? That's also a worry yeah. I have, because they don't have a marksman. Karma doesn't have enough damage. Just she maybe if Orin is isolated, but it takes, like, five taste of fears. Years. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> to even put a dent to the health bars of Rattel. And if you give enough time to the other members of KT Roll Survive, well, it's just so easy for them to uh, clean house, right? Like. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but if there won't be any miraculous Team 5 for NGX, it does feel like that this is a go next angle and this is a good mm -hmm. game overall by KT Rose Y. Just saying that, hey, you know what? We can also play the Ori, uh, albeit differently, uh, because it's being played on the top side. It still is very much effective. And this time, there's no counterplay towards this lineup of KT Rose Y, aside from the supposed assassin lineup that they have to threaten the back line, lots of late team scaling as well. Since both uh, Haku and Luna uh, picked up the man immune for late game scaling and right now there's absolutely no chance for Negva Galaxy even attempt to steal this dragon. Yeah. They just tries to, to get something into the top lane, maybe a tower takedown, but that calls KT oh, to no. just engage again. Oh man, just he's not having the best of his time right now despite yeah. this Kha'Zix being his favorite, one of his favorites. KT has an answer. I don't fault the Kha'Zix pick though, it was just because of that botch dive on the top side, right? We, mm -hmm. you, we all know that had it been that it could convert it into a kill, that Rattel, if, if Rattel was the one uh, that got assassinated on top side, we could be casting a totally different game. Uh, but again, you have to give props where it's due, KT Roll Survive is just quick to their feet. Oh, no escape for sure by the Karma, and right now, free hit for Luna and Haku as well, able to take so much Damage towards Nigma Galaxy. Call of is going to be used to draw an absolutely no escape. Once once you get knocked up in the air, there's no coming down. Yeah, like uh, it has to be tuned. <laughs> I'm calling it now. <laughs> it's one of the longest uh, knock ups in the game. And uh, again, Rattel uh, just showcasing that hey, you know what? As an Orin, you have 100% uptime. Doesn't matter if you don't have uh, the Warmog's armor. All you really have to do is to eat some fruits. And especially that this is the ocean map. Uh, and where there will be abundance of uh, honey fruits uh, to eat. Okay, we'll just give Mel more opportunity to heal up. Um, and, and so we're just waiting for formalities here, right? Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but NGX is definitely not going to win this one out uh, easily. I mean, it takes a miracle, a big one, uh, in order for them to at least even out. And even if they even the gold, it doesn't matter, right? Because the scaling is on the side of KT Rose or Y. Yeah, it takes... Uh, a miracle, maybe even a big mistake by KT Rolls or Y just for Nygma Galaxy to win. 
maybe even a ban elder dragon blunder here for hated also why that's how deep the hole is right now for nick okay. to aaron trying to escape is going to be a fancy feat but right now the Taku <laughs> can just easily chase him out the rest yeah. of the members of kt as well is trying to squeeze themselves onto aaron yeah. as it's gonna be the mel that takes the kill wait unstoppable Numel has a lot of kills like five kills if i'm not mistaken and um that <laughs> has showcased one thing right this uh rakan pickup in Numel has also been a very good uh addition to kt roster y squad there you go i was right five zero and two rakan <laughs> uh same record as uh ratel so the yeah. five zero to bros uh is uh quite online now <laughs> for ktr1 yeah. the cc bros are here to just carry the game and not allow Enigma Galaxy to do anything in all of the fights. Now Numel is just extending the vision that they have established into the soft side river. NGX, I don't think they can contest it even if Gator also why starts this with them having vision because they can just easily turn onto them with just one call of Forge God. And since they don't mm -hmm. have any counter plays, any counter CC aside from the Transcendent Embrace, it, team fighting is so complicated for Enigma Galaxy. It is indeed. I mean, the only chance that they have is uh, if there you go. If KT Rosa Y tries to go for an early Baron and they get depleted armor wise. Now they turn, they're on to draw. They're trying to answer oh, back. Just she? Too much damage from Luna. Now the backline has been breached. The damage isn't so massive though from Nick Magalaki just yet. Ratel doing a really good job Wait, with the knock up into what? the grand entrance. The damage is pure though. From Nick Magalaki, there's no to way. Off. One by one, bodies fall from Kateros or why? How is this happening? The isolated freeze, the macro there by Nick Magalaki, just so good. And Kateros or why also is confused right now. Yeah, like you look at how Just G played it. He played it perfectly. Goes in, goes out, knows that there is a stasis for Corky. Doesn't go over committed and was just able to outplay the members of KT Rose or Y. But still, again, the thing that has to be said over and over again: this was all. This this was only made possible because of the, um, I would say the debuff that Baron Nasher was giving to uh, the opposing <coughs> side because. You look at KT Roser Y, their armor was depleted by yeah. the acid corrosion um, of uh, the Baron. In fact, Rattel went down in the process and it was almost a clean ace uh, for KT, yeah. for, for NGX. Uh, had it been that uh, the Void's packs connected, I know for a fact that Just She will go again in that instant. But some signs of life for NGX. Oh man, I saw it now as well. Just a perfect utilization of the lack of vision of KT Roser Y. That allowed them to be so sneaky in yeah. that fight and bait them multiple times as well but right now Kate also why wants to establish two control mid lane prio and also this dragon priority right now in which nick mcgalaxy is responding hmm. with a bot side push might be forced to go back into the base though so, kt they're saying Never okay you're gonna dragon. ignore us we'll take one tower yeah that's the inhibitor open for the taking just g again just quick to his feet that's going to respect numel's crowd control chain um and this is again a revelation that no matter how behind NGX is, just she is still going to be a threat to them. Uh, but right now, with the amount of lead that KT Roser was able to get, even opening up the mid lane, that's an easy Baron takedown uh, for the squad of KT Roser. Why NGX would be settling for a trade once again, going for the dragon. But that's not a favorable trade, especially knowing that KT Roser Y could just use this Baron to open the remaining inhibitor towers. Mm -hmm. Top side and bot side, right? The okay, Tiro Sir Y is wanting to bash more of the base here of Nigma Galaxy. And with this ban, it's perfectly possible. Just a constellation prize and the Nigma Galaxy secured with the, the second dragon for themselves. It's so difficult now to actually wave here since Katero Sir Y can just again fully utilize this Orn pickup the moment they see an angle. They're just using the post right now from oh, Luna. Man. Witness immediately the karma is Team dead. Kind of dead. Oh my, just she trying to be sneaky, but will be threatened by Doe. As now Kate Rose or Y successful in bashing this inhibitor tower. Will be squeezing their way maybe into the bot lane because there's a wave building as well right there. But mm -hmm. now Numel going in once more. Death Mark gonna be used as a response. Forced to use the stasis oh, here for the, cor for the Corky, but Haku might actually be threatened. Never mind, the damage is so huge yeah. here for Kate and Ulster Y. They're just wanting to end this game right now, and they will. 
two one scoreline now Nygma Galaxy is still ahead but Katie is slowly catching up Katie Rosaroy fights back gets game number three 